What's going on, everybody? Bobby Five flying solo today because Sheets is ill. Hopefully, Sheets gets better. Um, ignore the skin tags on my face. I had to have some, hopefully, not cancerous uh, moles removed and things yesterday, uh, which is partly why I had to be out most of the day. But anyway, with that said, uh, we're going to get into the slate in just a second. And uh, I'm going to talk about my favorite plays on DraftKings, FanDuel, my favorite stacks, my favorite pitchers, et cetera. I would encourage you guys to please check out, if you're, if you're not a member already, check out uh, Saber Sim through TrueDFS. We are charging a few dollars more than they are, literally a few dollars more than they are. But you basically get all of the Saber Sim product. You get my bet, all of my picks, all my bets, uh, all my original lineup builds, which is really handy for MLB. Once I start winning, of course, I'm off to a really rough start. Um, you get Rody's top stacks, top pitching arms, all of Sheets' projections, and it all it all is in one place. And I think that you guys would really enjoy it. Also, please like and subscribe, all that stuff if you haven't already. And with that said, let's get into it. So on DraftKings, uh, and FanDuel. Basically, I have the same stacks in both with one exception. I'm not very interested in Atlanta on FanDuel, but the pricing on DraftKings has me very interested, at, at least in a mini stack for Atlanta. I think Rodgers, I mean, he was really good last year. He's off to a rough start this year. I think he's got good stuff. But if you, you start talking about some of these guys like, you know, Ozuna at 3K, uh, you've got Darno batting fifth at 2.2. No Duval in the lineup, but he was going to be another one. You've even got 3.5 Austin Riley. There's a lot of power there, and it's a warm day in Atlanta. I think this is a good spot to try to attack that uh, that situation. And we know that the Miami bullpen usually leaves a lot to be desired. We still haven't figured out who has the best bullpens yet. It'll probably take another couple of weeks until we can really figure that out. But I do think that they rate to be a really good stack on DK more than draft more than FanDuel because of the pricing factor. Uh, my favorite stacks overall on the slate are the Yankees, Angels, and Dodgers. I don't think that's anything totally revolutionary, but we do have 13 games, so there should be some spread out ownership. My favorite one-offs on DK, uh, Rendon, Seager, Judge, Donaldson, Simeon, Gallo, Trout, uh, and I'm going to throw Stanton in there because I think he'll be a little bit lower owned than he should be today. Uh, for value on, on DraftKings, we are talking about uh, Austin Slater, Darren Ruff, you get the cheap, cheap giants. Uh, you could, you could get a little mini stack there if you want to. Ozuna, I mentioned, Darno, I mentioned, uh, Matt Davidson batting third at 2k minimum, but at third base, that's the one you could consider, uh, Brad Miller at 3.3 is, is a good play. I like the Texas stack. They would be my next stack. I would go to along with Houston. Um, uh, in addition to the ones I mentioned, uh, Wilmer Flores in a lefty righty again, that San Francisco mini stack. Again, I don't want to go the full stack San Francisco, but I wouldn't mind a mini stack, uh, You've also got Trey Mancini, who's been awful, but it's baseball. It's going to regress to, to back to himself, and my boy Mancini should start hitting at some point soon. And then you've got Jackie Mayfield as a part of your of, of your stacks if he's batting fifth again or sixth uh, at 2.6K. So those are my favorite values. On FanDuel, my favorite one-offs would be Rendon, Tucker, Muncy, and Seager. I uh, really like Rendon on both sides, by the way. I'm, I'm going to just keep riding this guy until he pays off big time for me. I really, really like Rendon, and I think he's going to have a big year, even though he's he's been hit or miss a little bit so far. Favorite pitching options in order, uh, Verlander, Kyle Wright, and Detmers. Detmers is one of the top pitching prospects. You could argue maybe the top pitching prospect in baseball. He's off to a rough start, kind of got batted to death a little bit. But I really like uh, the idea of using Detmers. I think he's got a lot of upside. I think they'll let him throw 80-plus pitches, and I think that he's going to – one of these days have that 10 strikeout uh, five inning, 10 strikeouts and give up nothing kind of a game. That's going to be great. And he's 7,700 other guys I'm considering are Kopech. Uh, I don't think I would play Rogers, but I did consider him a little bit as a long shot play. Um, Freddie Peralta has been enough to a terrible start, but I don't mind gambling there. And then Julio Arias for the Dodgers. So that's sort of my brief rundown of the slate. I'm going to be live uh, at 6 Eastern. We're going to talk baseball. We're going to talk basketball. It's going to be a fun basketball slate. I'm not going to do a video for basketball, but we are going to do the video later. This is sort of going to go as my five and five and my quick slate overview. So again, just to reiterate, top stacks, Yankees, Angels, Dodgers. The next ones I'd want to go to would be Texas, Houston, then Tampa. Um, Atlanta as a mini stack, the Giants as a mini stack. And then you get my favorite plays as Rendon, Seager, Judge, Donaldson, Simeon, Gallo, Trout. Um, and then on the uh, the value side, the, the the cheap Giants, the cheap Braves, and then you've got some, some other guys like Mayfield, Mancini, and Davidson that you can mix in. So that's what I'm doing today, guys. This is going to be a quick video. We're not going to go game by game because Sheets isn't here. So hopefully this is good enough for you guys. I know sometimes people like to prefer these because it'll sort of get to the point real quick. It takes me a little extra time to do all the research because usually we're just going through it and that's what I'm figuring out my process. But this is what I'm doing today. I'm going to have all my bets up. I'm going to have all of my core plays up on Sabersim, again, through 2DFS. Um, 
and I'm going to have all of my early lineup builds up shortly. So good luck to everyone today. Let's crush it. Time to get this thing rolling. It's 422, which is, again, I said it on 2-2, on, uh, on which is my lucky day. That's when I last hit the 100K. I, I really believe in this weirdness of, ran, of luck and numbers. So this should be a good day for, for myself and hopefully for the whole True DFS team. Let's make some money tonight, y'all. Good luck, everybody.